Welcome to the ESC third-party billing video tutorial. The purpose of third-party billing is to charge fees to a company, such as a warranty company, for services rendered on behalf of a customer. Using third-party billing in ESC will allow you to bill out the warranty company, but send service history to the actual customer for whom the service was provided. This makes it easy to know what was done in prior service calls for specific customers without having to go through the history records of the warranty company. The first step will be to create the vendor, warranty, or service company as an actual customer in ESC. Next, create a job for the warranty company customer, but name the job after the customer for whom you are performing the work. To create the job, go to Customer Info, Set Up Jobs, and select the warranty company as the customer and name the job after the service customer. For this example, we'll name our job John Smith. Next, create a dispatch for the customer that requires the actual service, who in our example will be John Smith. During the creation of this dispatch, be sure to type in the name of the job that you just created into the job field of the dispatch. If you try to search for this job, ESC will automatically search for jobs created under the customer that has been selected for service. You will need to change the name you are searching for to the third party if you need to use the job search feature. You will treat the dispatch as you would any other dispatch and complete it as normal. Once the dispatch is complete, you'll need to invoice. This can be done by opening the dispatch and selecting Create an Invoice from the Activities menu, or by opening the Sales Invoicing screen, clicking on Add New, and then select Create from Dispatch. Select the dispatch that you have just completed and click OK. When the customer information populates the invoice, you will notice that the billing address on the invoice is for the warranty company and that the shipping address is for the actual customer where the work was done. Now, you may simply build the invoice as you would any other invoice. Once you have saved the invoice, any service history that was entered on it will be available in the history record of the customer that was serviced, instead of having to search under the warranty company. As for the job you created for this customer, we recommend leaving that job available in case you need to perform service for that customer again. This concludes our tutorial on third-party billing. Check out some of our other tutorial videos for more information. 